Hello everyone, today in this video we will be discussing the module 2 super important question which is worth 12 marks and uh, in this video we will be discussing about the topic which has been super repeated and uh, before starting make sure the like button subscribe to my channel comment just like this and without wasting any more time let's get started. What's the question is that Difference between CISC and RISC architecture. CISC means complex instruction set computing and RISC is reduced instruction set computing. What is the differences between the architecture with a diagram and what you have to write the functions for it? How does the memory differ and what are the processes differing? What are the functions differing? These three key points you have to write. Let's have a look at each one by one. What is CISC? CISC will be having the main goal to complete the task in a few lines of code as possible. That means it is having more speed. Okay. And to achieve that, it will be using a special kind of hardware that hardware is called as MULT. Okay. MULT means multiplication. We all know, but this hardware will reduce a set of larger code into a smaller code and it will execute the task very uh, smoothly and fastly. Let's have a look at how does MULT work. MULT is a complex instruction. It operates directly on the memory banks of the computer. It does not uh, require a temporary memory so that these things will be stored here. MULT will be accessing this. No, it will directly access where it is stored. It is in the memory banks and does not require an explicitly calling of the function by the programmer. Okay. And the advantage of this is that the compiler has to do very little work in translating high level language into the assembly level language because it's already uh, using a processor hardware. Okay. That was about the uh, CISC and coming to the RISC. In RISC, we have uh, the simple instruction. It does not perform large amount of instruction as in the CISC. And in one clock cycle, only one instruction will be performed. So if you have to perform a large set of operations, one by one will be performing. For example, if you want to perform the MULT operation, we'll be using three step process. First is the loading process. Second is the product and third is the storing. If you want to multiply two numbers, what will we do? We'll take those two numbers like two and three. We'll multiply them, which is a second step product. And that answer will be storing somewhere that is the third step storing and it will be storing from the register to the memory bank so here a concept of register is also involved let's have a look at how does this work with an example here you have to load something into the memory then you have to load a uh, second thing which is to be multiplied then you'll be multiplying these two things and then you'll be storing the answer in a this is what happens in the risk architecture you cannot perform all the things in the same time you need a single step-by-step -step process and this code has to be converted from a high level language to an assembly level language and in this code you have a separate separate register for each of these okay it does not access the main memory as we know so we need to have a separate register so an extra space is required here that is what is written here uh, more ram is needed to store the assembly level instructions and as i told you it has to convert from high level language to assembly level language because single single line is getting executed the second thing is it must also perform the work to convert a high level language statement into the code form basically this much you have to write for the key points and then you have to elaborate in own words that's all make sure you hit the like button subscribe to my channel for more videos like this and thank you so much for watching i'll see you in the next one Thank you.